Now that we've verified that we have a version of the Java Development Kit installed, we have one more step before we start programming. We need to tell our computer where to find the Development Kit, and we do that by changing our computer's environment variables. So let's close out of this command prompt. And to get to your computer's environment variables, you'll first want to right-click on your Start menu and go to your system. And system is just referring to your computer, so click on this. Then you should see a system window pop up. And on the left we have something called Advanced System Settings. This is what we'll want to change, so click on this. This gets you to another window, System Properties. And at the bottom right of this window is a button labeled Environment Variables. Environment variables affect how your computer runs, so make sure to follow along closely. So click on this Environment Variables button. And you should see another window that shows all the variables your computer recognizes. We're only interested in one thing here, and that's the path variable. The path is where our computer looks for programming resources, and we need to add our JDK to this path. So select this path variable and click Edit. You might already see some program files in here, and we want to add our downloaded JDK to this list. To do that, we're first going to create a new variable. And let's just name it new. And press enter. Then, with this still selected, we'll click browse to find our JDK. First, go to your home directory, your C drive. And inside here are your program files. You should have downloaded a version of the JDK to go in your program files x86 folder, so let's expand this. And in here is our Java folder, so click on that. Inside our Java folder, you'll see folders for our JDK and JRE. We're interested in the JDK. And inside our JDK, you should see this folder labeled bin. And this is what we want to add to our program file list. So select bin and press OK. And then you should see our bin file appear in this list. And we're almost done. Make sure to press OK as you exit this window. And also make sure to press OK in this environment variables window. And we can close out of the rest of our windows. And now we're ready to write a simple program. You can use any text editor to write a Java program, and I'll be using Notepad. Notepad can be found in my applications under Windows Accessories. You can also find Notepad by searching for it. So I'll open a new Notepad document. And now we're ready to write a program in plain text, like this one. Here's a program that contains code that will print out the string Hello World to our computer screen. And I'll provide this code in the notes so that you can copy and paste this into your own text document and don't have to write it all yourself. So first you see these words, public class hello world. And a class in Java is just a way to contain functions and code and refer to our program. So this class will be called hello world, all one word with a capital H and a capital W. Then inside this is the main function, public static void main. And this is where our computer will go to read and actually execute code. And we'll learn more about both classes and this main function later. So don't worry if you don't understand all of this right now. Just know that the code inside of our main function will be executed by our computer when we run this program. So inside main is this print code, which should look familiar. It's a print line statement that prints out hello world. Now to compile and execute this code, we first have to save this text as a Java file. So let's go to File and Save. We won't be saving this as a text document, so make sure to change this to be All Files. And let's name this Java file the same as our class name, Hello World. Dot Java. So our full file name should be Hello World dot Java. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop so that it will be easy to find. So I'm going to click Save. And it's actually very important that this document have the same name as our class. The name Hello World, all one word, with a capital H and capital W. Now that we've saved this as a Java file, we can compile and run it from a command prompt window. So let's open command prompt like we've done before. My first command will be to navigate to the directory where my Java file is saved. And that's my desktop. So I type cd space 
desktop and press enter. And cd just means change directory. Then, once we're in the right directory, we need to compile our code. And to do that, we type in the name of our compiler, Java C, then a space, and the name of our program. Hello world.java and press enter. This might take a couple seconds to compile, and if it's successful, our command prompt will move on to another line. If you get any errors, it's most likely because your computer can't find the Java C compiler because your environment variables haven't been changed, or maybe your file name doesn't match your class name. So if you get an error, check on those potential sources, environment variables and matching file name. And once this compiles successfully, our last step is to execute our code. And we do that by typing in Java, then a space, and the name of our program. This time without the Java extension. This word Java tells our computer that this is a Java program, and that this is the name of our program, Hello World. So once you have those two words, press Enter. And we should see the expected print output right below, Hello World. Great job! And we can run this program multiple times by just saying Java Hello World and pressing Enter. But if we want to change anything, like the text that prints out, we have to go back to our text file and change our code. In fact, let's go back and change our println so that it prints out Hello Java instead of Hello World. I can go back to my notepad file and change this to Java. And remember to save. Then if we go back to our command prompt, we can run our program again. Java Hello World. But wait a second, this still prints out Hello World, not Hello Java. And that's because even for small changes like changing the print output in our Java file, the whole file has to be compiled again before it will reflect the changes. And actually, you may have noticed this extra file that's been created in the corner of our desktop. It's called hello world.class, and it gets created when we first compile our code. This is actually the output of our Java C compiler. The compiler takes in a Java file and creates a class file that our computer can understand. So whenever we make a change, we have to compile our Java program again by typing Java C hello world.java and press enter. Now let's try running this code again. by typing java hello world. And now it prints out the updated print line, hello java. So writing code in a text editor like Notepad and then compiling and running it separately in the command prompt can get kind of tedious, especially when you want to change anything in the code. And to make it easier to organize and write code, we'll be downloading an integrated development environment, also known as an IDE. Development environments include Java compilers, so this will make it easier to write and run our code in the same application. There are a number of environments that help programmers code in Java, and we'll be using IntelliJ.